this morning going to talk a little bit about practice. Uh, the word practice in Buddhism, it contains uh, practice, discipline, and uh, morality called in order to apply to this body and verbal action, guide it into righteousness in order you have good base for meditation. So meditation is the second part. Once we talk about meditation, the goal is stopping the monkey mind and uh, make the mind more clear in order the mind not have much going on to become the mind obstacle. So uh, this experience will make the mind more sharpening. Yeah. If the mind sharpening enough, then you can cultivate the wisdom. Uh, wisdom is something you can from learning, contemplating, and from inside. So cultivating wisdom in order you can penetrate to the mindset yourself The very fine thing is break to that self attachment or self conceit in order you liberate yourself or you see the condition of causality. and know the truth. So this is called practice in Buddhism. That is very professional training skill and training put into the life. If anything I want to say in experience, I can draw two traditions to share with you all what its practice mean. First one is Telavada. We call that the elder teaching uh, or the very original teaching. So practice for them is how to develop this mindfulness into full awareness in order this body and mind being checked and purified all the time. and you free yourself into trouble and you work or you do something meritorious benefit to other very moment not miss it. Benefit to other have the effect we call that make yourself 
fortune into the life carry on to the future. So fortune is because of you not miss act to something. Two things to go, one is benefit to yourself, one is benefit to other. Both of it is called fortune. So once the Theravada tradition talk about practice, they still in the old way of practice still carry arm for food, you know, uh, we call that uh, four kind of support, medicine, uh, belonging, very simple, and food for just two meals a day. You not give any food, yeah, not cooking any food, like us, we farm, they not farm, yeah. They just uh, travel from town to town, village to village, uh, in touch to people. You know, from there they, they get support. <coughs> and then they don't stay in any uh, uh, residential for fit residential. They stay here and there as a, a wanderer, traveler, in order you don't attach to any thing belong to you as you abide, abiding. That is a very old days tradition of practice. You see, from practice point, they already limited yourselves uh, to get more and more things for wandering. Why they want to do that? I think just the mindfulness training, how to become very mindful. So, very mindful is the key f- for that purpose. When I join in practice in Buddhism in the day when I was 20, you need a lot of learning, but uh, it's uh, not that possible, uh, that uh, uh, important. The important is the daily schedule. They have very uh, fixed daily schedule for you. Or oh, what time you need to wake up. You know what time you go to bed. The food. You come back. Uh, you 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 heard the, the the gong gong. Then you know oh, you don't have to worry. You just heard something. Then you know what's what's going on. You you join it. So it make your schedule very tight, especially in the, uh, we call that rain retreat, that three months. Very, very tight schedule. I heard the saying is, mostly if you're mature enough in that three months uh, win, uh, rain, rain season, your will from the past practice come to the fruit. It means the quality of the life totally change in that uh, moment, in that uh, during the season. So here is the key. How tight schedule we can put ourselves into the training? This is called practice. 
So from that standard, uh, we bring it into the daily life, then we will set up like Indian, uh, uh, they put the schedule, you know, I want to help intensive, you know, maybe it's uh, enough for me to run the, the, the final the 10 uh, meter or the final 100 meter. So I will full power, you know. So this uh, 100 meter in the final, I can try my best the fast I can. So that is called intensive. You see? So intensive is something that uh, from, from uh, the, the, before this, we have already preparing, you know, preparing the, the fitness, what I have, the, the power that what I have, already train a lot before we come to the intensive. Especially in Chinese Buddhism, once they talk about seven day Zen retreat, it means before that they are already preparing. Yeah, do a lot of preparing, then they join into this uh, uh, intensive. Try to try to run the final one hundred meter. See whether they got it into the fighters what he can or not. So this is called practice. So practice in the retreat, then you, you know how intensive it is. Uh, let me say when I was in Thailand, you know, uh, when I go to, uh, in that time, did you heard a name called uh, Ajahn Buddha Daza? Oh, I was when when nineteen uh, nine nineteen eighty eighty three uh nineteen eighty seven. I I've been nineteen eighty three his body is still good shape and carry on the teaching. So come to the uh, retreat there. Three o'clock morning wake up. They already wake up. And then when, once you listen to the bell, then you get your own touch light. You already uh, come from the wood, you already come up from your small kuti, you already come, come to the big flat uh, uh, assembly space. There's all the wood there. Uh, if it's raining, then you go to the sala. Sala means that just the, the roof cover in, in the empty hall. Okay, you come. If no raining, just uh, in the open space. Everyone sit there. You just have very simple belonging, one piece of that, put, and you sit there. Meditate. Mm, the one, only noisy is the insect. This and that, uh, the the, the uh, uh, beans, noisy. Other than that, just silent. The silent is not like what I, you know, have the silent here in the winter. So I like four season. In the winter, is more silent. Uh, even though no uh, any other creature make noisy. Yeah, rainforest country they have other creature, you know, and uh, and then uh, they have um, mostly disturb is mosquito. Yeah. You need to bear a lot of things in order to make yourself uh, uh, stable make your mind uh, no complaint. You need to bear a lot of things. So you just keep aware. That's called bear awareness. You don't have the, anything to contemplate or overcome. Yeah, that is a very nature, you know. Seeing things by the senses touching. So from there, you need to free yourself. You don't have much 
thinking mind going on like uh, today we practice, we try to have something for the mind called practice. But in that there is no, we facing to the nature. Rain coming, uh, sometimes hard day, yeah, lots of things, just follow the nature. You try to open up yourself in touching by senses. In there you talk about how to transform. So this is called practice. Yeah. Nobody has talked in this uh, three months rain season, or, or we call that retreat. No one talk, even though we bear food back and, and uh, we, we line up to get your own food in the bowl. You try to put as many as you can uh, to, to feed your own hunger or you try to get less food, no one but, uh, consider and no one bother you. you. You do your own self freely. You get the food and then you sit there, eat. And then chanting, do the uh, transfer the merit. And you take your bowl and then clean it up. And you go to sleep for a while. Gong, gong, gong. Then you come. Meditate again. So, 24 hours is the same discipline. Rotating for 90 days. After then, then katina. Katina means uh, uh, after break this uh, retreat, the monastic going to travel, teaching or learning. Uh, the lay practitioner may back to work again, uh, be, be, become his householder again. So then that when, when we break the, the uh, practice, then uh, uh, we call that in there, we check the result. So like the Buddha there, Buddha was very happy because of this intensive focusing, intensive mindfulness training. Maybe in this uh, uh, 90 days, your habitual pattern already changed. Your mind focus, that kind of power already improved a lot. More sharpening in order when you walk back to the world, yeah, this quality is different. They can hold more weight. They can do a better job to serve the world. They have more discipline themselves. When people see his body moving around, they will show, ah, oh, this is different. They see how the calmness how the steadiness of this body and mind when they move like that. So this is called uh, uh, the meaning and benefit of retreat. See? So right now, today, we bring back the retreat into uh, uh, this uh, so-called world retreat, you see. Uh, some retreat is a little bit loose. Some retreat is still carry on very tradition and uh, uh, very serious require. Uh, in Telawada, they don't talk much about uh, 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 so what we call that. Uh, require you to be disciplined, like the uh, Zen Buddhism, Chinese Buddhism, like that. When you come to the Zen hall, you know, you uh, put your shoes not parallel to the side, you will be troublesome. You know, when you walk into the hall, 
Once you walk into the corner, you're not bowing to, to the, the hall before you walk in, you are troublesome. You know. And once you come to your seat there, you know, you need to walk like this, you need to walk like that. They have all row for you. The Chinese Buddhism do the same in the Zen hall. They call this a, it's a mindfulness spiritual hall. So once you come to the hall, they're not mindful, means you're out. You are, not, you are the creature. You are not, not the practitioner. So the practitioner not create anything in your mind, not pop up, they're only mindful. I still remember once the, 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 uh, I have the picture with him, my teacher. Uh, one time he forgot when he bring the, 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 the shoot, uh, step into the meditation hall, and then suddenly he found he, he, he got his shoot, step in, and then he take off his shoot and carry the shoot, go to the put it there and then come back, bow again and go and take the shoot, you know, and, and come back here and then put it there, bow again and come, they do a hundred times and then put back the shoot. That kind of serious personality because of one forgetful. He's a good teacher in the academic teaching. Uh, when I go there, one of my, my friends, he, he is the student of him, and then he told the story. He's a master legend. His time, accurate in the time holder. He have three alarm clock. One is in his pocket, one is in his table, one is in his bathroom. So any of the alarm clock, ding, 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 he knows what's going on. Even go to the bathroom, he still have the alarm clock control. Like that. So once he come to the uh, 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 class, he will stand outside, you know, checking his Three minutes, he won. He need to come accurate time when the time ding 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 come. He already step in to the hall like that. So the whole life, uh, what I saw him and I call him the the teacher. I want to follow him in New York, but I don't have that opportunity. I'm an unfortunate guy. Uh, even know who I can uh, uh, follow and learn from him, but it's just the condition, no support. So from uh, a practice uh, uh, viewpoint, I uh, uh, lack fortune to see click man. If you want to read a book, easy, very easy. What kind of book in today's uh, you, you can uh, 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 have it freely. But if you want to come close to a good quality mind and body, in order you can share, you can feel, you can touch into that kind of sharpness, not easy to get. So from this teacher, after he passed away until now, I still cannot find another man that I have confidence uh, or I want to go with him and his uh, 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 qualities of life, a lot of sharing I can directly pick up, straightforward touching to that. You see? This is what we call that, uh, the sage or the noble disciple. You see? So that behavior for me, practice is uh, some kind of behavior slowly, slowly build up into 
purifying uh, or the good quality that carry out uh, the, the body and mind it's almost the same as the teaching you know the truth presented the truth that is what we right now talk about practice so come back to today's uh, life uh, why everyone uh, are you uh, are you want to join the retreat it means that you want to discover something isn't it I say you you want to look for something see what can I make change or improvement isn't it yeah that is uh, so the, the key you know for we join into the practice. Yeah. So for here, I think still long way to go in order I can slowly, slowly build up what is called uh, practice, you know. One day, if uh, this time I turning it very tight, it will broke. See? So from that meditation hall, I never require anything. If the like the Zen Buddhism, oh, you will see. You come to the uh, uh, you come to San Francisco. We have the the Suzuki Lozi. Yeah, he have the Zen hall in city. He have the uh, uh, Green Gulch in the, in in the valley. You know, he have other center in here and there. Why people join there again and again? Because of discipline. The first thing is discipline. Okay, so before that, we call it wholesome. Before the discipline, we have another word called wholesome and faith. Okay. So this whole world slowly build up the discipline. Yeah. If no discipline for the body and mind, the body and mind is uh, very loose, you know? So uh, when I say uh, body and mind very loose, I don't say you all. I say myself. If, if I don't not mindful, it means uh, if you lose the mindful you know how 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 it is it just drop back to the uh, normal condition it's uh, not going to have a uh, upgraded condition you see? so practice um, it could not only for seven days you know and seven days like the, this year I have I th I thought I have more than three months at least in the retreat. I see if I, I say it uh, not not uh, uh, accurate, it's three months. If I say that no, more accurate, it's more than three months. I travel and guided um, uh, retreat, and for myself, when I guide retreat, I at least I have be honor. I will sit longer than you. I will practice serious than you. I will recall all the, the teaching and all the skill in the in the practice. Uh, very, very, uh, uh, what we call that serious. In order that I can upgrade my memory, I can uh, be, become the, someone who is more concerned about this skill like that. So, for a teacher, not. Just uh, uh, because I want to show yourself, show off yourself, is not like that. It's because of uh, want to involve so that you are the one who most beneficial. For me, it's like that. If you teach, you know how how good is the teaching. The teaching make you more, you know. Uh, uh, contemplating in, you know, more uh, 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 check into the this information, uh, uh, more sharpening, touching to the point that uh, never been too much aware of. Like that. 
So teacher is more improvement than student. This is called from the common point view. If we talk it like that, uh, why we have two kinds of personality? One is a householder, one is a monastic. You see, who is the best? The best is professional. See? If you really want to become the true, you need the professional master the truth. See? Who is more professional involved? Right now is not monastic or lay. Who involved much? Who got more beneficial? Is it like that? Yeah. So we are practice here one day, two day, three day, four day, five day. I think in the future we need to separate it. The beginner and the advanced always need to separate. Then we, we know that, oh, this already listened to the, that uh, uh, kind of basic. We don't need to continue again. So the advanced need to always go to more serious in the training especially mindfulness, especially you know, the, the three highest uh, training, they need to go more higher in order they can really touch to that called emancipation. Yeah. If you don't touch to the emancipation, you don't have the wheels of emancipation. Views of emancipation is not from the memory of this sutra say, that sutra say. The views of emancipation is from the mind and body free, then you really know what to say, this free, turn it into perception. So the three highest practice is point to the goal, you need to fulfill the emancipation or liberation. From that, we have the view or knowledge of liberation. This is uh, in Buddhism we talk why this uh, practice be, become important. It's not the faith. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this morning, uh, we already have half an hour talk a little bit about the word practice. Yeah. So in Chinese Buddhism or Zen Buddhism, they are not become as, uh, as what we call that the, the monk traveler. They become residential, support the practice and uh, uh, become more stabilized themselves a uh, mind and body into some uh, belongings, uh, uh, the housing. That how they talk about practice is same. They require discipline in very, very serious. Like what just now I say, you know, use the timing. You know, when you move your body, you really don't get the forgetful. You see, so uh, that's why I. I listened this morning when uh, my man come up, to <laughs> wake up from, from the building. Uh, last night, I already went back there. I heard the, uh, uh, some lion walk around, you know, and then I, I thought, oh, lion, never mind. This morning, there are bison walk around, <laughs> I know, after, you know, <laughs> sleeping, you know, the lion turned into the bison, you know. Mm. Uh, I don't uh, blame you. I know diff how difficult uh, uh, you, you, you be mindful to your own footsteps. You see? So I know how difficult it work. You know? And myself do have a lot of training uh, until right now. 95% uh, 
when I move my my foot, they have mindful death. Yeah. I I tell the owners. You know, so I know what is practice and I know what is not practice. You see, so practice is only call recall the mindfulness back. You know, always there. Everything uh, built up from there. Discipline, concentration, and insight that build up from this. Really, uh, uh, what we call that beginner mind. Okay, so uh, afternoon I'm going to talk one word called Gutsala. Yeah, and Gutsala, Agutsala, Abaya, Tamma, Jitta, Tamma. That is the first chanting I chanted when I was in Thailand. So Kusala is the, the first word I learned in the Pali text. So it has a, a very profound meaning there. Uh, today after, after lunch, isn't it? Uh, after lunch, uh, we're going to share half an hour in this word. I try to get this word uh, recovered in, in the, his definition and meaning. So we start from here. Okay, thank you.